Hello, today I will be going over the Code Chef June Long Challenge Problem number 4, which is the Tom and Jerry game. The problem statement is as follows. Tom and Jerry are fighting and Tom has strength TS while Jerry has strength JS. If both TS and JS are even, their vowels get divided by 2. If both TS and JS are odd, a tie is declared. If TS is even and JS is odd, Tom wins. And if TS is odd and JS is even, Jerry wins. And we want to find the amount of values of JS such that Jerry wins. The solution to this is relatively simple and straightforward. The only way Jerry can win is if TS is odd and JS is even. Therefore, we just want to make TS odd. And in that case, all even values less than or equal to TS and greater than or equal to 1 would result in a win for Jerry. Let's look at an example. Let's suppose TS is equal to the number 13. Then JS would consist of all the solutions 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. In this case, the amount of solutions is 6, which is or the number we're going to output. And a very clever thing which we can see is this 6 number is just TS divided by 2. And TS divided by 2 becomes 6.5, which gets down to 6 because the decimal is truncated. So now let's look at an example where TS is even. In this case, we would want to divide this value by 2 and proceed to the next turn because TS has to be an odd number in order for Jerry to win. We can keep dividing TS by 2 until it is an odd number. For example, let's look at the case where TS is equal to 52. In this case, we can divide it by 2 once to get the number 26, and then divide it by 2 once more to get the number 13. And then we can see that the set of solutions for JS is the exact same. And we have six possibilities. However, let's try inputting one value of TS and JS together. Let's take our TS value of 52 and the JS value of let's say 2. Let's divide both of these by 2. JS becomes 1 and TS becomes 26. In this case, it is a loss for Jerry. So how did these values exactly work? Well, we can call this value set for JS as the simplified set for TS. What this means is that you can see on the top, TS has been divided by 2 twice. So in total, it has been divided by 4. So in this case, we would have to multiply each value in the set of JS by 4 in order to get the actual original values. In this case, the original values would end up being 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48. And if you plug these values in, you would see that these values do indeed work. Now, why does this exactly matter? Why is a simplified set different than the original set? Well, the answer is that they're not. Why? Because we don't actually need the values of the set. We just need the amount of elements that work for the set. And we can see that by multiplying one set by some common number, 4 for example, we get the same amount of elements in both sets. We're not adding or subtracting elements. It's just the value of each individual element changes. But we don't really care about this. We just care about the end result. So we can see that as long as we can make TS the smallest odd number, all values of JS less than or equal to TS and greater than or equal to 1, we can just count the amount of values and output that answer. In this case, it's just TS of divided by 2. So the simple algorithm we're going to run is continuously divide TS by 2 until it is an odd number, then return the answer TS divided by 2. Now let's look at the code for the solution. So this is pretty straightforward to the algorithm. So we have our integer t and we're going to input into t. Then for each test case, we're going to create our variable n and input into that. So now what we want to do is make sure that n becomes the largest odd number possible, done by continuously dividing n by 2. So we can create this as another outside function called divide. So here we're going to take some long long in, such as a, and then while a is divisible by 2, we're going to divide it by 2. Then at the end, once it's not divisible by 2, it'll stop, so then we can just return the odd value of a. And remember, the set of solutions consists of ts over 2 elements. So once we have ts, we can just print out ts over 2. In this case, 
ts would just be divide on n, and then we can just divide that value by 2. Now let's run the code here. We see that it is accepted.